Hey guys, what's up? This is Nain here from Tech Barrack Solutions and today I'm gonna give a hands-on or you could say a preview of Android 4.2. I'm running Android 4.2 on my Galaxy Nexus so let me just prove that to you. Let me go to settings and in about phone, there you go. We have Android 4.2. Let me walk you through to the features of Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. First is the lock screen widgets. Now just as we could add widgets on our home screen, now we can add widgets on our lock screen. So just select the time and just drag it down and then you can go to the left and you have a new home screen. You can just click on add and there are four widgets which, are, which you can add into your lock screen. That is the calendar, digital clock, gmail and messaging. So that's really awesome. So this is a basic widget preview of messages and if I just click on the whole message it will just drag and increase the size of the widget so I can just browse through lock screens we also have the camera on the right hand screen so if I just go to the right hand side it opens up the camera so that is also a new feature now the camera also brings in new UI that is the new user interface like if I want to go into the settings I just click on the camera and there you go I get settings if I want to switch to rear camera or if I want to have the flash on or off I want to go to the settings I want to change the balance of colors or I want to change the exposure settings so that's a, a bit of new UI in the camera application and we also have Photosphere a new type of photography added in Android 4.2 this photography allows us to click panorama shots in any direction that is 360 directions and you just need to align your phone and then again align it so let's align it once again and let me align it at the bottom and when you just click on the shoot button it saves the photo so it's that simple to take photos through the photosphere and that's a photo which I just took through photosphere and this is another example as you can see this is the whole room one part of the room which I took through photosphere photosphere is still not that great it requires quite a lot of improvements but it's a great feature and I really appreciate Google for bringing this feature to Android 4.2 Next is the gesture based keyboard. So let me just give you a preview of that. So we have the new keyboard. Now if I want to type anything, I will just swipe and uh, from letter to letter and make my own word. So let's say I, I want to type in time. So I'll just go like this and there you go. I have time written on top. I know the autofocus is not that great but it's it works perfectly fine and it's great. It's, a, it's an awesome feature. So there you go, you can see it's time written. Let's try something else. Let's say I type off and it works. So that's uh, how you can type using the gesture keyboard. Next is the daydream feature. Now daydream is exactly like screen savers on your Mac or Windows or Linux. So just go to settings, in settings go to display and there you have daydream. You can set clock, colors, current, currents that's Google Currents which provides news so news will become your screen saver or you could even have photo frames or photo table as your screen saver I've selected colors now you can even select when to daydream like while docked or while charging or you can even select either so you can do those settings and I'll just give you a preview by clicking on start now so that's the colors screen saver as the daydream so that's uh, basically the daydream feature and you can set it to on or off on top that's the toggle for daydream in the notification center or you could say the notification area instead of the settings button we have another button which allows us to get more toggles like selecting Wi-Fi on and off who, uh, to whom this phone belongs to brightness we have the network which we are using whether we are using 3G or Edge we have airplane mode we have battery percentage which is extremely awesome because we didn't have battery percentage in till Android 4.1.2 but now in Android 4.2 we have battery percentage too we can even set our Bluetooth on or off and we have the settings menu 
so that is basically the new notification area and finally we have the Google now which is much better much responsive and much faster however still for Indians it does not recognize words so well but still it is good overall Android 4.2 according to me is not a major update it's a minor update but it brings tons of features which were required and which were important to be there in Android it is also really very smooth and stable and steady it is actually much smoother than Android 4.1.2 that's the older jelly bean this new flavor of jelly bean is way faster and the project butter works like a charm so with this version of Android Android becomes much more powerful and it is there it is out there to compete with iPhone and other operating systems